Hi, it's Tammy Pally, aka The Crafty Princess, and I have my June 2016 shipment from Bargain Bead Box ready to open up and share with you today. Um, Alright, so th I've already taken out the um, descriptive piece of paper. There's always a paper that comes with it that has information on both sides of it, uh, telling you things like the months, the theme of the month, um, along with a uh, list of everything that's in actually in the bag that you receive. Um, there's usually always some sort of um, information related to a, a giveaway if you go and you um, submit uh, images of finished items that you've made on their Facebook page you can get entered to win I think it's like twenty five dollar gift certificate. Alright, so this month's uh, June 2016 the theme is Twilight Shimmer and there's a little description up here it says the collection centers around two full strands of deep blue black freshwater pearls I love pearls. I swear, I keep, I've probably been saying this for 10 years, but I'm going to do a pearl book someday. Okay? I'm definitely doing a pearl jewelry book. Okay, complemented by hematite sleek metallic shine. Okay, I like hematite. It's not my fave, but, you know. Antiqued silver components. Oh, awesome. And Chinese crystal complete with uh, the shipment. Yep, love crystals. Uh, for a timeless, elegant look. Focals include a fancy fancy filigree flower and a 13 piece hematite fan okay I've seen these fans before we'll see I'm kind of like hmm you know I'm pretty jaded I guess but let's go ahead and open up the bags so as usual they're wrapped in tissue and there are three bags in the tissue marked one two three one Oops, two's upside down. Two and three. All right, so let's do bag number one. Okay, I already see some. Um, I see some silver um, daisy spacers. Always like to have these. Um, they look like they're maybe about three millimeter. Silver, silver toned. Um, it looks like some silver toned, uh, just round, uh, like they look maybe like three or four millimeter beads. Again, spacer type beads. Ooh, yay. We, oh, nice. Bunch of lobster claw clasps. Yay. Those look like they're maybe about six to seven millimeters. Nice. Super handy. Hmm, these are weird, like a little bar thing. Let me take those out. Little bar thing. I'll have to take those out for sure to show you. Oh, these are cute. These are little flower uh, bead caps, it looks like. And some really pretty um, silver beads. Having lighting issues today. We are going to get a thunderstorm here, so the sun's coming in and out a lot. All right, let's, let me take some of these out of the bag so you can see them a little bit hopefully up close and as usual I will take a few photos and put them at the end but this is an oval shaped silver toned bead with a very uh, kind of delicate looking uh, design on them with like a little leaves and branches and that kind of thing I don't know if you can really see that oh there you can kind of see it yes all right and so there are let's see three six seven eight nine nine of these that's nice and let me look at these these are unusual I'm not quite sure what these are hmm. that's what it looks like uh, oh there's holes okay so there's ooh. <laughs> there are holes okay so you could have it I mean, I'm sure there's some sort of bar mechanism. There's a lot of different things. You could even you could even do them like this if you wanted to uh, make earrings. So, and it looks, it's a dark crystal. I wanted to say it's black, but it might be garnet, like a garnet colored crystal in this sort of uh, ornate component. These are very unusual. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so, and so the theme again was Twilight shimmer. Okay, so evening dark shimmer. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, and let me take these out real quick here too. 
I mean, the daisy spacers, I don't think are anything. I mean, I'm definitely using them, and I'm glad they're in the, the, ba the bag, but they're nothing real super unusual. These are cute little, obviously you could put it, this on a bead, on top of a bead, or you could even put it up, either way. But I'm assuming they're meant as bead caps. But I will look on the list. Put these in the baggie so I don't lose them. Um, yeah, so let me, I'm gonna flip over then and read the list. I'll fold it so I only look at the, the first bag. It's supposed to be 60 pieces of 6.5 millimeter bead caps. There you go. Uh, 12, uh, 12 millimeter lobster claw clasps. Oh, those are 12 millimeter. Hmm, they seem smaller to that than that to me, but 200 pieces, four millimeter round spacer beads. Okay, so that must be what these are. A hundred piece, four millimeter daisy spacer beads. That's what these are. Always can use daisy spacers. Uh, six piece, 14 millimeter oval beads with leaf pattern. Yep, that's what these are. These are very cute. These definitely could make some really nice earrings with these. And then a five piece, two hole. That's what these weird things were that I wasn't sure what these are. Five piece, two hole, 21 by eight millimeter gunmetal black rhinestone spacer bars. So those are nice and unique. I definitely like those. Okay. So let me put these away and get to bag of number two. Oop. Bag number two. And by the way, I'm really glad to say they finally have started. Uh, when you get in your email that your subscription's been mailed, they actually have tracking number now. So that's really nice. Ooh, I like those. Is that hematite? No, those are pearls. Okay. Like, but they have a very dark blue. That, in fact, that's pretty accurate what's showing up on the screen. Um, cool. Kind of big for me, but I like it. I'm not, I'm not a big jewelry. I like, I'm big on jewelry, just not big jewelry. <laughs> More pearls. Nice. Cool. Yes, I mean, obviously, wow, you could you could make something with this, put some crystals in there. Instant gorgeous necklace. Yeah, that is very cool. In fact, let me take that out of the plastic baggie. This is big. It's got a really big bale on it, too. Nice. And it's, but it's light, you know, it's not like it doesn't feel super heavy, so that's good. Um, you know, um, yeah. Wow, love that. Okay, in fact, so this says it's 14 strands of approximately eight by nine millimeter dyed freshwater pearls, rice shape, 14 strand, approximately four by four to five millimeter dyed freshwater pearl rice shape and 55 millimeter filigree flower pendant, lead free pewter alloy. Okay, so nice, nice, love those. I wonder if there's more pearls. I do like those pearls though. So yeah, so basically big pearls, little pearls, and a nice big flowery type pendant. All right, and bag number three. Okay. Looks like now now we've got the hematite. All right, so well. All right, so we have hematite beads. These look like they're probably um, six millimeter. Yeah, definitely hematite. Hematite's an iron ore, by the way. And it's, it's hematite's not a very expensive um, material for beads, but you know, it's kind of a staple. So it's, it's, you know, I'm cool with that. These are interesting. These are like matte looking beads. Let's see, they're heavy. Are these metal? Must be metal. I don't know. I'll have to see about the look on the list and see what this is. Um, okay, then we have just some, you know, looks like four millimeter Chinese crystal, bicone, Aurora Borealis. There's definitely some sparkle on there. So I do you think, I don't know, do they have Aurora Borealis? Yeah, I think they have Aurora Borealis finish. Well, you know, those are nice, definitely good to break up 
beads in between these. And then, ooh, these are sparkly faceted too. Woo, okay, let me, these are not strong, so if I take them out, I gotta be careful I don't lose them here. So these look like hematite colored, but they look like four millimeter crystal uh, beads, very faceted and sparkly. I mean, oh, I wish I could just like, ah, if you could see these, I don't want to lose them, but they are super sparkly. So, woo, yeah. There's a lot of dark stuff here though. So, you know, cause like these, these are nice, but they're kind of similar in color. So it's good to have the, the contrast here. And I've got to go out of camera shot to, because I dropped something. Oh, so here's the fan that they're talking about. So it is a hematite fan. Let me get these all. Come on, dudes. There you go. They're pretty, they're nice. I mean, it's nice. They have a nice sheen to them. You know, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of fans. I mean, they're okay. I just, actually, you know what? Now that I look at this, you know, it'd be kind of cool to do with this um, is really keep it simple and maybe put it on a long silver chain, you know? Like, so, it just gave me that idea because it's on this big, long string. <laughs> Weird, like this is just cheesy fishing line here. But if it, it would be kind of cool looking if it was on like a long, you know, silver chain, maybe with a few beads or something. That would be kind of cool looking. But anywho, so yeah, so that's, let me look here. The, so the the list on here that says what's in that bag is a 10 strand, eight millimeter frosted antiqued hematite round beads. All right, so this, I think that's, I think that's what they're saying this is. Frosted antique hematite round beads. Okay, yeah, that, because it definitely it's heavy and like I said uh, hematite's in iron ore so you know it's got that metal feel to it um, and are frosted cool okay and 15 strand of sim uh, six millimeter hematite round beads that was uh, these 13 piece 12 by 30 hematite focal fan which I just showed you guys 48 piece six by four millimeter Chinese rondelle beads okay that must be with these they're calling these rondelle hmm i would not say these are rondelle shaped to me these I don't, well i guess maybe they are well you know yeah okay yeah they are they're rondelle they're small though okay rondelle is kind of like a flat circle like it's a circle but it's been squished a little bit so um it, it almost has an oval look to it sometimes and that's what i thought they were oval and then finally, the Chinese uh, Crystal AB Bicone Beads. All right, so that's all of it. Approximately retail price is supposed to be $59. And I would say that's probably accurate. Um, yeah, there's a lot of dark stuff here. I, I think it would have been nice maybe to have, uh, you know, more a little bit more contrasted light stuff. I get, I get it, the theme is twilight, so that's evening. Um, but you can do evening and have, you know, some light and dark mix. So, but you know, I don't need extra beads. <laughs> so, I have plenty that I can mix with, um, with all of this. And, um, yeah, I like, yeah, I really like everything. I don't think there's really anything here that I would say I don't, I don't like. Some of it I'm kind of like not uberly impressed with, like the hematite. I have a lot of hematite. I think most people who make you know stone jewelry probably have lots of hematite i do like seeing the extra um findings those lobster claw class major thumbs up on those i like to see always bead caps and spacer beads are super super handy that would be my my only criticism is more uh, more light contrasting and this is something that i kind of noticed and i again i understand because they have a theme so they're they're really the boxes that you get every or the bags that you subscribe to i don't feel like the intention is that they're sending you uh supplies that you can make completed pieces with you can use a lot of them 
um, together, but you're still going to need a little bit of findings um, and possibly beads to mix with them. So that's just, I'm just putting that out there if anybody's a total noob and you think that, oh, I'm going to just make something with this, with this and nothing else. For me, I would definitely have to have more light mixed with the dark. This, I mean, I mean, yeah, you can make one piece with this, but you don't want to make it all the same stuff, right? I mean, I, I'm into more, you know, I wouldn't say one of a kind necessarily, but I guess it's one of a kind because I don't like to make the same thing over and over again. So, uh, but that would be my only general um, comment, negative comment, is that uh, there's usually not a lot of contrast between, for example, if you, if like the, in March we got, was it March? One, one shipment we got tons of green beads and it was just, everything was green. You know, another shipment, it's like tons of purple. <laughs> so at, it's nice though after you have a couple of shipments, like now I'm thinking, you know, some of those purple beads might go with some of these, um, some of these, you know, hematite here. Um, or, you know, some of the, uh, another shipment that maybe has a lot of light stuff I can mix with the, with this, the dark stuff, you know. So um, once you get a few shipments in, it's, it's nice to be able to see what you can mix between the two of them. But yeah, that's kind of it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions about Bargain Bead Box, I am not affiliated with them in any way. I just am a happy customer and I enjoy uh, getting my subscription every month. It's, it's kind of exciting to see what they send. But yeah, that's it. Have a wonderful jewelry day. As usual, thanks for walk, watching and um, thumbs up, shares, and all that good stuff is always appreciated. Bye. <laughs>